I'll admit right up front, I have never watched a single episode of One Piece, nor have I had the opportunity to play the previous I am, however, extremely familiar with the Warriors titles. I've long been a fan, and it's been great watching Omega Force develop and use licenses in great ways through the past few years. When I first booted this up, I honestly wasn't quite sure what to expect. The very opening of the game, where I'm playing as Luffy and going full Mr. Fantastic with my insane limbs, instantly sold me on the appeal of the franchise. As the roster grew, mission after mission, it was pretty easy to see why One Piece was such a great fit for the warrior style of beat em up. Even the story premise is pretty straightforward. Luffy eats a strange fruit, giving him his insane assortment of powers that he wants to use to build a pirate crew to help him become the king of all pirates. What quickly follows is nothing short of absurd, but despite how anime everything gets, One Piece Warriors does a pretty good job of keeping the story concise. As a complete newcomer, each character feels very well developed and all of their motivations are told in various submissions and through in-game cutscenes. Now obviously it's not recreating the show one to one, but it was a sufficient motivation to continue the storyline and find some new favorite characters along the way. Gameplay wise, One Piece Warriors differentiates itself from the traditional formula by the sheer audacity of its character abilities. Various combo strengths, special moves, and super abilities are all cranked to 11. It's not uncommon for a single combo string to reach into triple digits with ease. Air combat has always been a bit of a stickler in Warriors games, but this is the first real attempt Omega Force has done to address that issue. Every character has varying degrees of in-depth air juggles and combo opportunities. It fits perfectly because the combat is tough to keep contained on the ground level in most instances. One Piece also features various major boss battles, and sometimes they even happen one-on-one. -on -one. These battles use a lock-on feature and are home to some of the more intense set-piece moments. One Piece 4 also features a variety of modes. Outside of the story mode, you have side stories that tackle the roster with more depth so that every character has their own chance to shine. An online co-op mode features massive fights that allow up to four players to battle together. All progress is then carried back into your single-player campaign. It also features local co-op and online story co-op Although, once again, the online could use some work. When I was playing it with some friends that are local and close by, it ran pretty well, but as soon as I was playing with people who were a little bit further away from me, the input lag and latency was pretty bad. The actual connecting is a bit cumbersome, and although it works, staying connected from mission to mission is much tougher than it should be for a modern online game. Visually, the game is a treat. On PC, the game ran perfectly for myself. The game's characters shine with tons of super expressive faces and special moves that fill the screens with stuff I certainly never expected to see before. One Piece is a bizarre, amusing, and absurd game, but it's also pretty fun and lighthearted. Omega Forest did a great job of bringing these characters to life, and as a complete stranger to the franchise, Warriors 4 has sold me on it pretty convincingly. I give One Piece Warriors 4 a 7. I think it's a lot of fun, it has great combat, and it's definitely something that you can just play and enjoy in the moment. The online really could use some tuning up, as even though one of the major modes highlights it, it does run pretty poorly. I enjoyed the game, I hope all of you enjoyed this review, and you can check out the full written review at rectifiedgaming.com. Have a good one everybody and thank you for watching.